Hello, and welcome to Becoming an Artist with Trey Ratcliffe. Um, this is a travel and photography show where we talk about tips and tricks. Every show we're in a different location. Um, if you like this idea, go ahead and click subscribe and you know share it with your friends. Today I am with my friend Photo Serge. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. <laughs> I love the do the way you start your YouTube videos. How do you how do you begin them? I always begin with Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramini. <laughs> So, something Man, like that. I wish I had a French accent. It's so cool. <laughs> um, anyway, where are we? Well, we're at this place called The Hills. It's a, it's a kind of a really cool golf course here in between Aerotown. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. And this this piece of art, it's um, it's a hundred wolves um, that are built by this um, Chinese sculptor. His name is Liu Riwong. Um, I actually met him in Beijing. And the gentleman that owns this golf course and built it, Sir Michael Hill, um, so Michael Hill, Jula, he uh, was in Beijing and he loved them so much he had them all shipped here and decorated the course with them and they're unbelievable, aren't they? Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a hundred wolves attacking a samurai. I've never seen that. It's super cool. And so we're out here, actually we do a few photo adventures every year in different parts of the world and we've got about uh, 20 new friends out here. We're all taking photos, we're doing HDR photos. Uh, I've been shooting with this big tank and so you've now spent a week in New Zealand, your first week in New Zealand, what do you think? It's awful. <laughs> no, it's really cool. It's it, it reminds me of Switzerland, but 50 years ago, because it's uh, very hill, you know, and, and but the water is so clear, the lakes everywhere. Uh, so it's it, it's a photographic heaven. I mean, I was already blown away when I just landed. Like I right. felt the you know the Lord of the Ring and was like, right. you know, I was doing a little preview of the movie or something. Yeah. <laughs> it just. It's and you really feel you are on another part of the world. I just love it. I I'm blown away since the the minute I walked here. Well, this has been really um, a dream come true for both of us because we don't get to be together that often. I first ran into Serge like four years ago in Paris. Yes. And I know we're both really into HDR photography. You love it as much as I do. You're you're really passionate about it, and uh, you're help spreading the good word of, of HDR. So thank you for that. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you. Because I got into HDR. 10 years ago, thanks to him, and um, worked on Photomatics for many years, but recently uh, I switched to Aurora HDR, that I really love, and um, and we've been teaching a lot of Aurora stuff, and especially for this type of glass that we have behind us, which is very, uh, a lot of texture, a lot of texture, but they come out so good in Aurora HDR. Uh, to be frank, I was kind of uh, dropping a bit the HDR over the last couple of years, and right. Aurora really got me back into it, yeah. because there is something about the look, there is something about the dynamic range that I really like. And uh, I've been processing all weekend every photo I've put into Aurora, whether it's a bracketed shot or a single shot. And I really like that. Yeah, it's really fun, isn't it? I, um, so those of you that don't know what Aurora HDR is, um, I decided to build my own software along with Mac Fun. So we partner up on this project. And I, like you, I was kind of getting a little frustrated with Photomatics, didn't do everything I wanted. So I wanted to put everything into one tool. Yeah, and I noticed everyone in the class is using it except for the two people that have Windows machines, <laughs> yeah. and they're very bitter. I can't figure out if they're bitter because they're Windows users, or <laughs> because they don't have Aurora HDR. But there's a big overlap there. Yeah, that's the only we only had troubles with two students that yeah. week. But I think Windows version is going to come up one day. No, we're working on it. That's always the number one question. I'm sure you might even see that question coming across Curtis yeah yeah every yes. time I post a video on Aurora oh where's the Windows version as soon as the word Aurora is mentioned it's yeah. it's asked yeah. yes all right let us know if any questions pop up from the yes audience. where are people lot, watching from a lot of places um Central California is Marlon and Stephen from Boston um, Marie from Minnesota. Hello, Marie from Minnesota. Darlene Hildebrandt oh, says hi, Serge from Edmonton. Darlene. Darlene Hildebrandt. Yes. Hey, turn it around and show our little crowd that's assembled here. Ah. You can spin around. Who else is watching while you do the spinny spin? And and who? Well, who are these people that I'm showing? <laughs> Maybe you should tell them. Yes. These are all new great friends. Uh, that's Serge's son right there with a the massive man beard. Yeah. Well, but it's got the lumber sexual thing going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so these are all uh, people that have come along to join us for the week in New Zealand. We do these maybe twice. You should come again. Yes. It's fun. Yes, it is fun. I will come again. He was actually, I, we've had some uh, family issues, so I've been out of town, and I was really worried I wouldn't be able to show up for this thing. Um, so we came in, we brought in Serge, because I, you know, I really trust you. I know you're a great teacher. You're really passionate about this stuff, and everyone here seems to love you. So that's great. 
Thank you. Thank you for your yeah. trust. I really appreciate that. And now they all get the one, two, tray surge punch. That's right. <laughs> Somebody said they're watching from Disneyland. Are they? Disneyland. They're interrupting their vacation to watch this. Wow. Yes. Bonjour, Disneyland. <laughs> right, have you shot Disneyland much? No. You sh it's amazing. You should definitely shoot it. And they're tripod friendly there. Really? Yeah. I've never had a problem with a tripod. I've even taken tripods on roller coasters, which doesn't seem safe. <laughs> but they've never said anything. That's right. So crazy. Joey, like Joey says place. that Joey says that Trey is quite grizzled. What? Yeah, I'm looking quite grizzled. I have I have a a new beard for reasons that will go unexplained mm. for yeah. right now at least. Yes. All right. Yes. Someday I will unveil the situation, <laughs> but for now they'll go uh, unknown. Yes. Yeah. What else we got planned today? Well, we're about to walk around the golf course, mm. and then join us later uh, because we're going to do another live show from Sir Michael Hill's home, where we're going to be doing a little art tour. So that'll be very exciting. He's a great art collector and really real character and and wait till you meet this guy. He's awesome. He's our kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. I love, love to see him. And Kim Randall says hi from Yellowknife. Um, she's getting ready to go out and shoot the Aurora. Hello, yeah. Kim Randall. Yes. How are you? <laughs> yes. We, we like her. She's cool. She's showing up on like four of our photo walks. Really? Well, she we, always appears. Well, we first met her, remember, in Mata Mata. All right. Here's a funny story about how we met her. So that's right. I totally forgot that. So we... We were up in Mata Mata. Have you heard of that? No. Nope. Um, you know Hobbiton, like where the hobbits live. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a real life movie set and they've got 44 hobbit holes and it's gorgeous. So we were there shooting all day, um, shooting, I forgot the reason we were there. I, oh, I know why we were there. We were there because we were working with Air New Zealand and uh, we were shooting some stuff with Air New Zealand. So I spent the whole day there and then uh, I ended up at night taking photos and then Kim Randall walked up with her boyfriend and they were right there together and they said, you want to hang out? Sure. And so they spent the whole night taking photos with us and they've just kind of been photo friends ever since. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Isn't it nice how like the right people kind of show up and it's yeah. strange, right? Photo works are amazing. You meet a lot of great people because most of the people I've seen photo efforts are really decent people and human beings because yeah. they, they just want to add beauty to the world and I think for human beings to want to do that it shows us some quality yeah. that doesn't everybody have that so last time you talked about how being uh, kind of vulnerable and open to the universe has changed your whole life yes yeah absolutely it, give the quick version of that story because it's really inspirational to people I think well I was a salesman and I've been a salesman all my life uh, dreaming of being a, an artist I wanted to, I was drawing a lot when I was a kid and I gave it up I wanted to be an actor and I gave it up and I was just selling websites to hotels. I mean, nice people, but boring job. And I hated it. I really hated it. And so uh, one day I, um, I realized with digital in 2004, with a digital camera and a, a software, you can create anything. And when I understood that, that's when I found out about Scott Kelby books, which I really started with, which I really love. He's a great friend, a great mentor. And then right after I found you, and you two guys have been a bit my mentor over the last 12 years. And um, and it's funny because I first started taking photos for the pleasure. It was right. just, you know, I was going after my day of selling websites. I would, you know, I had my little scooter in Paris and I had <laughs> all my little Gizzo tripod, which I still have, which fits in the scooter. And I would travel <laughs> around Paris and take photos and for the pleasure. And, um, right. and I did it for many, many years. And, um, and then eventually, I would have never expected this, but eventually people just started, I created a website. And I, I started getting tons of emails. How did you do this? How did you do that? What's that? And I started doing tutorials. Mm -hmm. And Fotolia invested into a company named Tuto.com, which did French tutorials. And I posted a few things there and became number one bestseller. All and right. so, and then I went on YouTube and uh, and now I've got a seven man company uh, helping me doing all my tutorials. Right, that's fantastic. So photography has changed your life, art has changed yeah. your life once you're just fully committed to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's funny because I, I don't do it for the money, although the money has been much better. Uh, I really do it because I'm passionate. I'm crazy. It's like a drug. I, I can't go somewhere without a camera. It's. I, I don't think. Uh, I. You know, whatever happens in my life, I will always, always take photos. There's something about walking and trying to share the beauty of this world that's unbelievable. And if you do it with the right purpose and uh, really work at it, it can go really a long way. It's awesome to hear you say that. I know it's inspirational to a lot of people. Uh, well, you, me, and Scott Kelby are about to be together again yes. in Vegas in just a few months. Absolutely. We'll be yeah. in Vegas teaching together. Yeah, that'll be fun. I know a lot of people watching here going to Photoshop World, so come up and say hello. We're just as nice in person as we appear to be on camera. <laughs> Especially We're, him, not me, but yeah. he's amazing. <laughs> We're not pretending to be nice and approachable. We actually are. Um, anyway, we're about... Yes, Curtis? Well, I was going to say, I think... Um, 
as we bring it to a close, maybe maybe you take the camera and walk through the woods and, and you can oh, just idea. over the hillside and you can see the course here just right. right past the woods. Let's do that. And uh, yeah, yeah, you'll see it's amazing. Yes. All right, let's fly, let's fly this thing around. Hello, Jane Guy. How's it going? You know, you are associate producer for this show and you are not at the show. I can I can say that for sure. There's no doubt about it. Hello, Mike Baker. Your two favorite photographers. Come on. Come on. Hello, Javier Medina. I know you're coming in from Palmerston North. I remember that. Hello, Rebecca Anglin. The weather is perfect here. It's like 21 Celsius, about 72 degrees um, Fahrenheit. For those of you that don't, aren't on the Celsius scale. Hello, Adam Yurkanis, how you doing? If you guys like this thing, go ahead and click share and share it with your friends on your timeline. Um, super cool. I love live Facebook video. You never know what's gonna happen yeah. with these things. Might get attacked by wolves. Yeah. <laughs> They're huge, aren't they? Yeah. They're really big. Yeah, it's amazing. So here's kind of a funny story about these wolves is that after Sir Michael Hill had them installed, um, the artist Liu Ruang flew out from China, from Beijing, to um, to inspect them. And I think they were installed over on the 10th hole, and he goes, those are no good. And so he made him move them all the way over here to the 18th fairway, or right off the fairway. So they had to like get helicopters, and what a mess. Hello, Sally Rutter. You have those kind of thighs, eh? That's nice to know. Hello, <laughs> hello, Brian Watkins, Mike Baker, someone from Oklahoma, Curtis. Yes. From Oklahoma. What, did it say what town? Oh, what town are you from in Oklahoma? Curtis? Claremore, Oklahoma. Home Claremore. Will Rogers. My home Will Rogers. Yeah. My my wife is from Medill, Oklahoma. It says welcome to Medill on both sides of the sign. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there's your your view. Um, we'll catch you guys in a little bit when we get to Sir Michael Hill's house. Um, here, let me flip this around. Let's go into selfie mode here. Yeah. Selfie mode. <laughs> Just spin it around so we got some good light on us. All right. All right, good. Goodbye, everybody. Bye nice bye. to see you. Thanks for joining in. And um, we'll see you in a couple hours from Sir Michael Hill's house. Okay. Bye, guys. Ciao.